Lights, camera, action. In a studio where local filmmakers talk to other filmmakers about the inside world of film. Cut. That's not the script. F*** it. We'll fix it in post. Do you wonder how films are produced and what really goes on behind the scenes? Well, stand by. Filmmakers Kevin Mumphrey, Victoria V.A. Jones, and Carson Hype Ferguson explain all the details. Right here on F*** It, we will fix it in post podcast. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're listening, I think you were doing so. I am once again Kevin Mumphrey, and this is fine. We will fix it in post. I am with my colleagues, Victoria V.A. Jones. What's going on? And Karsten Hype Ferguson. Yeah. Today, we're, we're going to Wakanda. Actually, no, we're not. But we did want to talk about the movie Black Panther. By the time you hear this, the movie would have been out at least a weekend, a week or two. Who knows? But you probably have already saw it. So, uh, first, I wanted to talk about, do you remember the time when the, when Black Panther first came out and we went and shot, we shot like a promo video for the screening of it? Yes. So, um, kind of tell me your recollection, recollections of it. I mean, it was cool, you know, seeing, you know, everybody, you know, in the comic book world know about Black Panther, you know, but it was cool seeing the little kids come out dressed up as Black Pan- Panther and, you know dressed up as the people in Wakanda and it was more for the kids than anybody else for me. So. That was, and that was the first thing I was going to say that kind of stuck out for me as well. Also, there was just an excitement that I never really seen inside a movie theater before. Right. You know, people like who dresses up to go into a, to mean, a movie theater. I mean, people dress up to go see Star Wars. I mean, I mean the comic cons and certain, certain films. Well, yeah, it, okay. it happened a whole lot, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name films I don't really watch. A- Animes <laughs> and all that stuff. <laughs> but it's just, and maybe this is my, this was kind of my first time like seeing Star Wars. Being in that, the, that Star, I've it, never seen Star Wars in a the theater. Well, what? If, if you, like, now, I've I, seen Star Wars. I've never seen it I mean, in a the theater. I mean, like, if you ever went to like midnight showings of some of these like different franchises, it, like some people go all out. Even in the smallest of towns, like people go all out. It's crazy. They do. Lord I of can the really Rings, see that in Lord, like a small Lord town. Of the Rings. Yeah, you yeah. remember when Lord of the Rings came out and, and all these people stood in line as, as the characters? Yeah, I definitely wasn't around for that one. Yeah, like Gandalf. and <laughs> like, yeah, I've, yeah, I, like I, I, Now that y'all bring it up, I've, I remember that being talked about and seen video of it. But like I've never been to a theater where that has happened. But thinking, I don't really. Look, I, I didn't go into video game stores and people be dressed up at the thing for a minute. Now I have race. seen at a I've race. seen more than that. Now, but I'm not really the meet, midnight rush type of guy. I, like I, you know, I went to, I, I wanted I wanted to see what it was like. I went to one midnight release when I used to be like hardcore gamer and I was like I will never come back to this. <laughs> Why? Man, it, there there was a couple cool cats, but I'm just like I'm just like, yo, it's I'm, too much going on. I'm no, I'm just like I'm too cool for this. I'm too cool. I, I, I'm, I'm too cool for this. Like I'm, I'm like, I'm like for real, man. I'm like, I'm like, yo, it's, it's too many socially awkward people. I'm like, yeah, I got a little bit of awkwardness, but I can overcome it. I got that kind of personality. Oh, okay. you know, that okay. kind of okay. personality just like just I just hop you. over that stuff. Is that is that Kevin? Oh, oh, look Bro, at that. That's my alarm, uh, and that, I didn't man. realize I had an alarm. Oh man, like this dude. Uh, that was no. We 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 gonna have to X that out real quick, right? <laughs> you know, right. Like, um, what was that? What was that? What did I hear? Oh, yeah. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. It'll magically disappear. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I don't know what That's y'all talking about. Fix it in post. You know what I'm saying? F it. But um, also, so now talk about screening the original film. What were yeah. your thoughts on the original film? I loved it. It was good. Now, is it one of those films that you would that you may have watched more than once? I've watched it twice at the theater and one time outside of the theater. That's so I I usually if I do watch the film more than once, I you watched it four times? Mm-hmm. In the theater. I watched it three times in the theater. I watched it once by myself. I took my dad because he didn't want to go by himself, and then my mom wanted to go see it. And then I watched it one time outside. So now me, I watched it four times in theater in the theater. But it's like I watched for different. Like the first time, I just watched the story. Mm-hmm. Second time, I just kind of looked at like, okay, what? Because I was just kind of there for the moment. So I was like, okay, let me see if there are things I didn't that well, I well, missed. Well, that, that's that's that. You know, honestly, because I watched it like that, I did get that. Because typically, I, I I can turn it off. 
So I'm not going to be critical of a film or like look at lighting or anything like that unless something like truly stands out. Yeah. But but typically that's when something takes me out of the story. And then like when I watched it the first time, I got to be like, you know, the kid in the back of the theater just smiling or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then when I watched it like the second time with my dad or whatever, like I was kind of like I, I, I kept like, like looking over my dad, see what, you know, how he was processing it. He, he like he enjoyed it a lot. And then um, and then with my mom, whatever, she didn't really say too much. But uh, she was just like you know looking at it, and uh, and she 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 <laughs> enjoyed it. it. She enjoyed it too. It's like because so, cause I was like I was I'm I'm looking at everything. I'm seeing stuff. I'm like every single time I watch it, I get something different. Even at the home, uh, the the home, you know, version or whatever. What That's with like any movie though. If you watch a movie more than once, you're gonna get something different yeah. from the movie yeah. when you look at. It. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and typically, I would not do that unless like I just truly love the sto- the like the story. Yeah. Whatever, like, but then again, I'm so enthralled in the story that I'm not going to watch the movie as, as, you know, I'm going to watch the movie deep, deeply, and I'm not going to see the periphery stuff because I'm so locked into the story, if that makes any sense. So even if you're watching it over. Yeah, like Forrest Gump, like, you know, back in the day when I had like uh, TBS or whatever. Yeah. Like, I'd be, I, I would like, I would turn it on. I'd be like, oh, this movie's on. And it'd be one of those movies where no matter where you are in the movie, you gonna enjoy it. You you would, you would like sit down or whatever. You'd be like oh, like in your head you think oh I'm just gonna watch this part, but that's not how it goes. And before you know it, you're like damn I don't watch this whole movie again, <laughs> or, or I don't watch like the whole rest of this you movie. I'm supposed to get up and do something. Now that you've mentioned it, Forrest Gump is the perfect example of a movie that would you'll do that. That's the one. And if I TBS always throws it in on it, yeah. like yo, them ratings getting kind of low. Go and throw Forrest up in <laughs> there. Forrest Gump, <laughs> Castaway. Like you know, like it, it would it would do that a whole lot. Um, Any uh, episode of Charmed, <laughs> Training Day, Man on Fire. <laughs> you I, saw how you jumped out of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Training Day, Man on Fire. I could do that. Um, I didn't watch Charmed like that much when it was on air. So whenever it was like on the the you know the uh, the reruns, I actually got a quite a bit of enjoyment out of it. Is it TNT? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a good yeah, show. It's a yeah. good show. Um, Law and Order. I watch a whole lot of that. Even episodes I've seen before, or whatever. Yeah, I'll be like in a hotel room, Grey's Anatomy, and I'll be like, "Oh, oh man, man, I remember this." Listen, let me let me tell you something. I will watch. I will watch Grey's Anatomy. I I go on Netflix and I'll put it on Grey's Anatomy. It doesn't matter which season it is. I'm watching from that season on. Now, can you do that and then just kind of? And still, how many times you watch it? Just watch, like, for the story. Yeah. I mean, it's certain episodes of any show, of, of a show that I like or whatever. It's certain episodes that, like, really speak to me. So I'll go back to that episode, and I'll re- rewatch the episode just because I love that episode. You know, um, I've watched that that uh, the animation uh, Into the Spider-Verse. I've watched that five times. But it, it it's, like, so many different layers of it. And I've even watched, like, you know, sections of commentary on it and how they did certain frames and cells and all that stuff. It, it, it's, it's, it's some good work. I mean, and then like to have that many characters like revealing or whatever at the same, like pretty much all the time. Right. That's, that's a lot of character work and a lot of character building. And you, you can make a, you can make an argument that, oh, they didn't do that much for certain characters, but I think they did enough. Yeah. And especially like with the, the three main characters. Like you, you getting that and like to have three main characters in, in the film or whatever. And just like really, I mean, just it's beautifully like done like story wise and in art wise. It's, it's just a beautiful movie. Now, let me let me ask you this as far as Black Panther is concerned. The big question has been after this due to the unfortunate passing of Chadwick Boseman. Should they have just recast it? Yes. Now, why do you think it should have been recasted? Because man, like I mean, you you gonna recast Superman, and it had recast Superman. I mean, it may not worked out, but I'm saying like you you can get somebody to to fill that role. Um, I I don't know. I I like I know they did in the comic book. They did a lot of stuff in the comic books that yeah. you know didn't do it didn't fare as well. But I'm like I'm like yo yo, we waited forever to get this, and I'm like Chadwick wouldn't wanted like them to be like oh no no you, it it's all about me. Because it wasn't. Okay, yeah, at the same time. But do you think that they're going to build up to replacing him? 
they ha- they like have I feel like eventually you have to if you're going to yeah, continue right. this story. So, so to continue the story, they had to do another one, right? And mm. then after this one, I believe that they they eventually recast it. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Now, our stuff. If they're going to, if they were going to, then I would have waited longer to do the film because it is still like the second film, whether you recast it or you not, Chadwick's presence is going to be not even up. If it's even not talked about in the film, his yeah. presence will be talked about in the promotion of it because when you get an interview, you're going to be asked about Chadwick. Hey, at least, at least the commentary month, he's going to be talking about. At least about. a month ago or whatever, there's people like talking about like, yo, there was the the whole hashtag, the boycott Black Panther going out there. Because they're like, yo, re- recast T'Challa. That was a month ago? Yeah. Like huh. when it, uh, Well, whenever the first trailer came out. Was it the teaser trailer? Yeah. Yeah. Like a month, two months ago. Like they were like, yeah, there was like a, like a, a real big thing. Hey, like, you know, Black Panther. Yeah, but at the same time, I think they're just they're they're doing this movie to in memory of him. I believe they're gonna recast. You, so him. you feel? Do you feel kind of like um? Is kind of like a we, we just got introduced to the character though, like and it the character didn't die. What well, they killed him off off screen? That's lazy as hell. I, I like Ryan Coogler too. I was like, I, I don't like the idea of killing him off off screen. It, it, you know, oh another universe. I like we got multiverses and everything else. And we, we can't figure out a way to, to get T'Challa or a new Black Panther, you know, in the thing. And not saying, oh, sure, he's going to be a Black Panther. Okay, all right, good. But I'm like, I'm like yo, we didn't have time with T'Challa. And there was stuff in the comic books with T'Challa that they, like, kind of stripped away from. Him. So we didn't even get the full T'Challa either. I mean, he might come back. Well, okay. I said might. Okay. Because, I, I mean, any, I'm thinking, like, that's a lot of pressure for an actor at least that soon. Cause like even with the, I used the Wolverine for example, which I know um, he's going to come, he's going to reprise his role for like one more Deadpool movie. But he, he said that's the only franchise, it was the franchise he wanted to do, but they never put him <laughs> in. And they they got that rivalry thing going anyway. Yeah. I, I like uh, that. That's, that's some funny stuff. So like he how, wanted, he wanted yeah. to be in a Deadpool movie. Hugh Jackman, yeah. yeah, Hugh Jackman. He wanted to do that one. He, like that, 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 uh, that freaking old man Wolverine story. That was a great story. I I loved it. And how they sent off Patrick Stewart the, the way they did is kind of jacked up. But man, I was like, I was like, but man. this a story as a whole was very well yeah, done. Yeah, and that little girl, man, she did a hell of a job. Oh yeah, yeah, she so, sold that. So, are you gonna go watch the new Black Panther? No, not at all. No, why? I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I, like, I, like a lot of the Marvel uh, stuff now. Like ever since like Endgame, like I, I just seen the trailers. I hadn't really been interested. Like I, I don't think a lot of them did as much that I wanted to closer closer to the source material. And I know you're gonna have like a movie uh, version uh, versus like the comic version. Yeah. But I'm like, I don't even know who that character is in some of these uh, some of these pieces. Like. I mean, there, there's mixed reviews about She-Hulk, and you can think whatever you want, but She-Hulk was a very beloved character. And, like, if you look at the reviews or whatever, not the not the critics, but the people that actually, like, enjoyed the comic books, all you had to do was just give them something that they can kind of eat a little bit. It ain't even really got it. It ain't really got to be that much on your palate. It, it could taste like wood paste. You know, as long as it has a little bit of sugar in it, whatever, they'll eat it up. And then, and then, like I don't know, man. Like some some of the writers and all this stuff, like this, they're like doing too much, like to kind of, kind of uh, go back and forth with the fans a little bit too much. I was like, I was like, ah, why why do anything to alienate your audience? And I'm not saying with this, but I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah, I'm saying see. just in general. And I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm good, I'm good. And I was like, I was like, uh, I'm good. Okay, I'm definitely, gonna I'm definitely it? gonna watch it because I just, I just want to see what story they're going to tell. Uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm interested. This is the that. first time I've probably, I'm not, I don't want to say excited to watch it, but I have not watched the trailer because I don't want to see nothing until I go see the film. You ain't watched the trailer? Not even the trailer. Damn man, like, they, they got like five trailers out now. 
Now yeah. I ain't seen one. I've been dodging them things. Oh no. Nah. Even though like th- I see it on Instagram, hide. I be putting out like I don't want oh, don't don't put this in my feed. I want it off my algorithm. I don't want to see it until I go see it. Like I kind of wish they never. I get uh, five trailers. Like I knew of two. There's 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 like two teaser trailers, and then there's like uh, uh like um uh, I I said five might be four. Uh, th- there's like, there's like two t- teaser trailers because there's like a really really short teaser trailer and there's a little bit longer teaser trailer and then there's like the two ones. There's one that just came out I think uh, last week or the week before. Oh, I have no clue. Only thing I know is that Rihanna song. Shout yeah, I, I heard there's a, I need I didn't even want to hear the Rihanna song until I see the movie. Shout but out to Riri for that is, song right there, man. She is back. But also I have a thing with like comic book trailers. Some like so ever since the. Um, Batman vs Superman movie, so that trailer I love the trailer. But you didn't like the movie. I like the trailer better than the movie. Uh-huh. I mean, it's designed to get you in the movie, and, right. and and then like you know, Batman vs Superman is really not that good. You mean the comic in it of itself or the or the, the, movie? the movie? Oh yeah, that movie is oh, yeah, terrible. Yeah, the movie I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not really a fan of, of Zack Snyder's uh, Superman. I, I don't want a brooding Superman. Br- Superman's the Boy Scout, you know, hope, you know, possibility or whatever. And it's like, and you basically think, made. I don't really like the Boy Scout. You, you, like, ma- you made him Batman. I, I can see that. But it's like, so I've, and I feel like I've discussed this with you all before. I always thought it was very hard to make Superman interesting. Superman's interesting. But because, because of how he has to tip throw through the world. Is is probably the thing. I like Smallville better. That, that's why. Yeah, um, I love Smallville. That's why the I, animation Superman versus the Elite is such a like a really really good storyline. I, I didn't necessarily like that that type of animation for that, but I I, th- I did enjoy the uh, the movie as a whole. It's an animated movie, and like at the end, he gives this like speech while he's like beating the dude up. Uh, yeah, Superman got kind of gully a little bit too. That, that even that just sounds bad. I don't want to get my ass whooped <laughs> and there's being a speech. He, 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 you I should mean, be a better person. No, no, no. He was like, he's like, he's like, he's like, do you, you know what it feels like to like live your whole life walking on eggshells and then be scared? No, this is no, no, no. He's not talking. He's all about whooping, he's whooping talking your crazy ass whooped. and whooping this dude's tail, man. And then, and then that's sounds like some Batman would say. Oh right. man, like yo, that, I was like, does. I was like, I was like, damn, man. And it's like, and he's like, he's like, he's suppressing this the whole time. So like, and then uh, then he pretends like oh like you know he killed all these dudes or whatever and like dude like makes this dude go crazy yeah and then he's got like a part of telekinesis the bad guy or whatever everybody thought they were good guys but they were really just you know whatever and it yeah. ended up being kind of bad and then he like uh, fries a part of his brain where he had the power like using his laser vision <laughs> and I was like I was like I was like dang that's yeah, wild laser. right there. I now, just remember the episode of Smallville, and you know he comes into himself as Superman. I was like, "Oh yes, I love that." But see, like I, and that's why I liked about Smallville. It showed the process of him becoming Superman. That's an interesting story. I mean, uh, if you read the comic books, it'd be like that. I mean, that was. <laughs> I mean, I'm, 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 dude, just I'm such I'm just, a I'm, I'm such a Marvel that. I'm such a Marvel guy. You, I don't really. Did, did you not read the death of Superman? No, no, no! I did. That was the because that was a whole moment. Grown men were crying. That was a whole I, moment. I remember going to the comic book shop, and I was like, I was like, and then thinking about like that Scarface line. I ain't, I ain't never seen a man cry till I seen a man die, and this dude is just sobbing reading this comic book. It, and that, and I was like, I was like, what this is crazy. Oh, oh, is that how I? You know, you make men cry. Uh, comic. I, look, back then some, it worked. No, like a, look, 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 for some so, dudes, like yeah, like oh hell, like the the creators of uh, Transformers, like uh, when they made Optimus Prime die, they were getting death threats. And back then, you had to write letters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yo, yo, you had to have a lot of effort to contact stamp. somebody. Yeah, envelope. Yeah, go to your local like. Well, that's, you know, I guess they had that much time on their hands back in the day. Yo, that's wild though. I'm like I'm like yo yo I mean they they was like they was like you fucked up this time buddy, <laughs> <laughs> buddy <laughs> what? It's like Optimus Prime can't die. Oh yes, he it's can. like they're trying to sell toys to you. That's why they killed yes, off sir. all your favorite characters. That was the whole thing. 
because it's based on uh, I think the GoBots, the Japanese toys. Yeah, they get they got the licensing rights, or they got the rights, and then they had to like na- rename it or something like that. And they were like, they gave it to this one cat, and it was like, all right, make a story about these guys, give them names and all that. And dude's like, what? The, what? He did a good job because all the all the toys and the whole thing was it was like post Star Wars, and they basically wanted to sell toys. So they, they already had like a toy line from Japan, the GoBots, and they turned around, like, you know, did some redesigns with some of them, and it just like made a storyline from that. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to look up reviews for Black Panther 2. It's not out Before. yet. Oh, well, you know, critics watch it first. Yeah, but the, the, cri- the critics the- don't matter. The critics don't matter. Oh, but they're fun to watch. Because nah, I, like, I can't do the Rotten Tomatoes. Because if you go Rotten Tomatoes, it's like 100%, and then the audience be like, Two percent? No, they really do. Uh, it, I was looking crazy, at it one day man. like it'd be crazy. Their rating was like it'd be like eighty, eighty five, and the audience is like, nah, bro. Ten. Like it's not even a number. It's just nah, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does yeah. not register. <laughs> nah, y'all, y'all, y'all tripping. Man, we we saw something completely different. And then they don't change the whole rating system anyway. Like, cause like apparently like some like. Uh, there's a couple of franchises or whatever that didn't do as well as the critics thought it would. Yeah. So then they turn around and did like basically like what they did with the Amy Schumer uh, comedy special where it got review bombed. They changed like the way they rated the the way they rate stuff. Now. She's not funny anyways. I thought she at one point in time she was. No, never. Like when she was doing the Comedy Central roast, I thought she was funny. No, never. never. So let me let me ask you this. I'm going back to Black Panther. Do y'all think it uh, was too soon for another one? Yeah. If you're not going to recast them, it's too soon. I don't think so. I I really don't. So, like, my thing is, like, if they were going to recast and put in, if they're going to make another T'Challa or whatever, yeah, I would have rather they waited longer. But it, because I feel like this film is going to be kind of like um, what Fast and Furious was when Paul Walker died. Right. I feel like it's going to be somewhat like that. And that's probably like my my favorite um, Fast and Furious before it got weird. I mean, it was it was heading weird anyway. So out of all the Fast and Furious ones, that's the one that outside like of like the first one. That one, yes. I mean, it was heading to a weird trajectory before Paul Walker died. But it's like, well, Paul's not here now, so we're really gonna get weird. But that's neither here nor there. But if they're going, if it's something like that. I get it because I I almost feel like the because I mean that cast you can kind of tell that that cast was close right like even and, the, and we interviewed one of the guys who was um, part of the first Black Panther mm-hmm. and he said the cast was close mm-hmm. so I f- almost feel like even for them this would do, doing it they would have to it would have to be some sort of closure that's some cl- and that's my thing it's it's yeah people might be upset. You know, the real comic book fans might be upset about, you know, recasting him, but it's it's part of a closure thing. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, like, it's gotten, it's bigger than a comic book film. It's a, it's a cultural film at this point. Like, these are black kids. That's, Com- comic books is culture. But this one's kind of, well, I mean, I know comic books are worldwide too, but like, as far as, like, the sales of this film, the wide reach, like, this film was played in theaters that don't play American films. And also too, also too, is this going to do as well as the other one? Cause you got to remember that it was shoehorned or really not shoehorned, but it was set up intertwined between all the other movies that can, it, it's not the same connective tissue. So all those thinking it's going to do exactly the same or, or better I, than the first. I don't know if that's going to be the case. I feel like it's going to be, Cause like the movie, the movie, the movie industry has changed forever because of uh this uh this bug that we had uh you know Rona. Yeah. So so you have that, you have the fact that the Marvel entities themselves are that like people are saying that they're not as good as they were. So you have that too working kind of against it, and then uh, like with the boycott hashtag and all that stuff and people being upset about the Ch- T'Challa thing. I'm like, those three things alone, you know. Let let's see what the the movie actually does. Now I do it now. now the business side of me thinks it's going to be as almost as watched, 
like their first weeks is going is going to be bananas because you want to maybe you just want to see what they did. What, what's the last Marvel film in theaters? Oh God, I almost said Black Adam. <laughs> <laughs> what's messed up? No, I mean that's, <laughs> that's super, that's super, super superhero movie. Uh, but but I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, but I'm no. saying like what's the last Marvel movie? Um, Cause was I, it Spider Man? Was it Spider Man? Uh, you know what? Maybe it was, but that was different though. Because that that was the end of that whole like that was actually so the I end thought of that, that was phase. the that I was thought a, that was the beginning of the new one. That was the last of phase three, and then phase four uh, was like kind of in between, I guess. So what's the next, the next Marvel? I'm not talking about Black Panther, but what's the mm. next Marvel film that's supposed to be coming out? Mm, is it Blade? Is it? Are they working on Blade? Yeah, are like they done I, with I, it? I read, I read some. Um, I read some uh, news that uh, old boy wasn't happy with it because they didn't have they didn't hardly have any action scenes. So they're scratching it. No, like uh, they had to do rewrites or whatever. So I'm not scratching uh, it, but I'm Thor: saying Love and Thunder is that? No, oh that that was that, actually that was the last one. That that one didn't do as well. That was the last one. Yeah, no, it didn't because I didn't even knew it was out. Yeah, like I forgot about it. I forgot about it because like I I watched like several reviews on it. And people were talking crazy about it. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't watch it, but I was like, I was like, it, it didn't do as well. So like, okay, that too is another thing. Okay, the the Marvel deals and Thor was like one of the most popular characters. Yeah, yeah. You got Guardians of the uh, this for a Christmas, this is a Christmas movie, which I don't know how I feel about this. Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. <laughs> That's will a be movie? released. That's gonna be a movie. Will be released on the twenty fifth of November, twenty twenty two. Well, not exactly high on the list of Marvel release dates. Wonder why. Prioritized by the most Marvel viewers, the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special trailer what? promises to be a fun breather sandwich. I don't know how. Kevin Bacon's in it. What is he playing? Kevin Bacon. He's playing Kevin I Bacon. Am dead ass serious. He's he's playing himself. <laughs> yeah. In a Marvel movie. Yeah. Craven the Hunter will be like the first of uh, twenty twenty three. Craven the Hunter. I don't know how that's gonna work, but without Spider Man, is Spider Man gonna be in it? Uh, no. Because no. I I know he's had spinoffs and all that stuff. No, but he, I, he wasn't he wasn't as strong with. Well, no, this is supposed to be a uh, this is a Sony thing, so you know that Sony Marvel oh, whole like thing. Venom. So I don't really, yeah, yeah. So I don't really, I don't know how that's going to work. So probably not. I'm not even sure if we're counting that as yeah. Um, Ant Man, Ant Man and Wasp. That's February. So there's a two. Mm-hmm. No, that's a third. That's a, that's the third one. Yeah, cause I thought it was just so it was Ant Man and then what was the second one? Ant Man and the Wasp, I think. Ant Man was the first one. And I think it was Ant Man and the Wasp was the second one. Oh. And this one's going to be in the quantum realm, and that's where they're going to meet. Uh, yeah, Kong, Kang, Kang, mm-hmm. Kang the Conqueror. Mm-hmm. So that that's how yep. that's how they kind of get him in there. Now, another the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff. Volume Three will be in May twenty twenty three. So the Christmas movie is just a bump. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, Jane, be June. June of is next that, year. Is that going to be animation? Animated. Or is that going to be animated? Okay, I might watch that. I don't know. It depends. Now the Marvels, which I don't know, has there been much talk Cause, on the Marvels? Because that that was Sony. The animation that was Sony. Yeah. So is all the animated Sony? Uh. Well, I know those. The the Spider Verse one was. But the Marvels will be July, late July. It'll be like late end of July. I don't, I don't care about that. I, I didn't. I didn't care. Like there was a lot of comics that I didn't necessarily care for, and in the nineties they ruined the market because like there was people actually using comic books as investment vehicles, and that's when I got out because like the stories weren't as good. They were just pumping stuff out. Okay. Oh, okay. Then they're gonna have another Spider Verse twenty 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 four. They're doing Madam Web apparently. Uh we'll see. My, I, I, my question to you is: Will you ever make your own comic? Yeah, I almost feel like you should. I'm actually how, I'm, I, no. how critical you are with these comic book movies. <laughs> no, I feel writing, like you should. I'm writing some. I'm writing something with a friend right now. So when is that gonna come out? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking my time with it or whatever, and it has to be good. It, has, it absolutely has to be good. I used to like. I got out of comic books a long time ago. I think I was 12 the last time I like officially. I actually started reading some like back issues and some stuff like some really really good stories. And then I picked up a uh, Maximum Carnage, which is like a another, a, like a, a newer I story. The game, 
Oh, dude, and this stuff, or actually not Maximum, this one's Absolute Carnage. And it's like, it goes into the, the Carnage, like, lineage. So it, like, kind of changes it a little bit. So it's not necessarily a symbiote, but, like, an alien kind of species. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, they, they go and try to get the Codex, uh, basically, like, the part of your DNA. And then they, um, they um, you know, basically destroy you, the organic life, to get the Codex out of you. So anybody that's ever been, like, you know, merge with a symbiote they kill including like hulk and all this other stuff i i, I don't know what universe this is in but there's it's, so many of them at this point dude it's it's be- it's beautiful it's a good story but i mean it's absolutely beautiful artwork i believe it i, I mean, mean no. i mean it's, it's it's back to that 90s like artwork and i was like i said man this is this is the stuff that i fell in love with this is the stuff that actually got me to read a whole lot more too and it's like it's like I got into comic books and then I got into goosebumps and then I started reading like actual books. The uh, graphic still, novels, I love the graphic novels. Still novel. trying to make that comic book into a, a reality. Oh, you, you, you know the yeah. one, you know the one that we wasted all that time. Uh, hmm. I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you know, so it's only wasted if we do nothing with it. Hey, I'm trying to do something with it. Yeah. Um, let's wrap this up with uh. Any final thoughts, Victoria? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see it. You know oh. what I'm saying? I, you know, when the crowd dies down, I'll go see it. <laughs> <laughs> that midnight release, ain't yeah, you? No, 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 it's not. <laughs> no, it is not. You know, go. the last time I did a midnight release was probably Avatar. That was probably the one that I did. Fern Anybody Gully in blue? Fern Gully did it better. Blue uh, face paint. Hell nah. Hell nah. <laughs> Fern Gully did it better in first. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think I've ever did a midnight release of a film. I just don't want to at midnight I'm not going to see a movie at a movie theater. Hmm. That, but that's just kind of me. Uh Karsten. Comic comic book fiend. No, 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 I'm not a fiend. I'm not a fiend. I, I used to be hardcore into it, just like I used to be a hardcore gamer or whatever. Like, you know, a lot of a lot of nerd culture. But I'm like, I'm not I'm not doing it. Like there's a lot of Marvel stuff now. I'm just like, yeah. Hmm. Well, Kevin. I feel, well, my I have my dashiki in the car, so. <laughs> you know, I still have the two. I wore two that day, at that premiere at Black Panther the last time. I still have both of them. I I'm wearing. I got. I got. I had three. I had a black, a red, and a white one. I sold my red one. My boy got it, but I almost regret it because it was a nice looking red one. But that's hey, before before anybody says anything, I don't want nobody to think uh, you know whatever ill of me or whatever. I I done bought I bought the the two soundtracks, so the theatrical music and the soundtrack or whatever that Kendrick did the score on, and then uh, nah, like I bought I bought the movie, and I bought a bunch of other stuff too. I spent a lot of money with that movie. I was like, I thought it was a good story, like a really good story. I, I don't think this is going to be as good of a story. That's just my my thinking. That's your opinion. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine. I, I I've heard. I, yeah, I've been looking, just seeing people's thoughts of it, and there are quite a few people that share your sentiments. But I don't want. I didn't want to see nothing until the film comes out because I have my dashiki in the car. Got my shea butter ready. Yeah, I'm not gonna do all that. When I yeah, you probably don't want to come to the movie with me. Shea then. butter. Oh, I got my <laughs> shea butter ready. I'm, I'm, I'm about. I'm gonna be shea butter. That. I'm gonna be shea butter brother. I'll be ready. <laughs> that might gonna be greasy as hell. Man. <laughs> Man. Kevin go walking in shiny. The <laughs> they gonna, hey, who is that shiny <laughs> nigga over there? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Go, your whole face gonna be greasy, boy. boy. You black, you blackity black. I'm gonna, black, and your whole face I'm gonna, gonna be gl- I'm gonna be shining like Diddy in the nineties. Take that, take that, take that. You gonna have a koozie oh on? Man, I, 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 I can't say no. I'm not. That's I don't yes. think so, but it's it is a possibility. That's a yes. That's, That's a yes. A, mm. Oh, I'm going to. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, are you? Uh, my question is this: Are you gonna go by yourself, or are you gonna bring somebody with you? Nobody's coming with me, but it, <laughs> no, nobody. So you gonna walk in there? No, you, you gonna walk in there looking all my brothers. Up. 
by yourself. I'm just going to be greasy, shining like, yo, Wakanda forever. You know, you know, one of my favorite, favorite, uh, like memories or, or like, you know, pictures that I saw from like the first, um, you know, people dressing up was the dudes that dressed up like, uh, like, uh, coming to America. <laughs> I was, I was like, yo, that's dope right there. Yo, I like if that. If I could I really find, like I like that. Like that strap tiger, dude. That the, was you can get it off of Amazon. That that was. Yeah, what's I up just right I there. needed to look real decent. Now I don't need to look real, but the ones I've saw because I've looked, them they ones. just <laughs> them the tiger ones. don't the lion don't look lion. The yet, lion no. looks like a wolf. <laughs> yes, it's all skinny. Yes. It's all skinny. Like man, because folks gonna be taking pictures. And they're going to be like, this. who this nigga with this? Kevin going to be viral. Who is this nigga with this line across him? I can just I can just see me a picture of me on the shade room with, who is this nigga? Who's, <laughs> hashtag, who mans is this? So, no, I can't I can't get the, uh, I can't be shiny with the wolf lion. I mean, nah. you could. Nah, I can't do it. I can, t- like I said, I'm going to be shiny. I'm going to be shade butter brother. That's, that's. <laughs> That's what you be need fine. to put under the caption. That's you you make sure that somebody takes a photo of you. No in, one tangled with me this the, day. In the dark. In oh. the dark. Why gotta be in the dark? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Nothing but your shade butter face. <laughs> Shining and glistening. But I'm gonna look like I just got out the oven. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna look like Thanksgiving get dinner. And it's gonna Hey, hey, Thanksgiving coming up. Okay. That's all I'm saying. You know, Shea Brother. Shea now, I'm not going to be Shea Butter Brother for Thanksgiving. Now, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> but for this, yeah. Then we got Kwanzaa coming up. So, was it, was it comes out this week, right? Yeah. The 12th, yeah. Mm, okay. No, I got it. I got a spirit dashiki for not you if you like. Not the 12th, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, Friday's the 11th. It's coming out on the 12th. It's coming out on Saturday? I, I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you what date it comes that's, out on. That's weird. Let's let's make sure. Even now looking banter to oh nope, that's something else. It might come out on the eleventh. Which one is it? Because eleventh is actually a holiday too. What holiday is that? Veterans. Oh. Mm-hmm. So like you would think that it would come out like officially on the tenth then. I mean, typically it comes out on a Wednesday and they'll they'll have like or a, a Thursday. Right? Yeah, Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. Because they'll have like the midnight release, like November 11th. Yes, 11th. Mm, so we'll it come. is the 11th. Ooh, and then we got. Uh, but then it'd be like midnight release on the 10th. So like, right. you know, mm-hmm. so yeah, so like the the morning of the 11th kind of thing, basically. Hmm. Kevin, you want? We gonna go and so? get up out of here so I can get my my dashiki pressed and ready to go. Hey, yo, Shea Butter. Hey, you want me to buy you some extra? I I, I appreciate I, I would appreciate. I, I don't I don't need it, but I'm not going to turn butter. down extra Shea Butter. I'll buy you some extra Shea Butter. And so, I'm, I'm going to get you the, the real, real one. I'm going to spend some money on it. That's Hey, that, I'm not turning this down. <laughs> I am. You <laughs> Have me shiny over here. Have me some African music. Oh, you know who coming. Uh, make sure you get your elbows. Of course. <laughs> Knees, elbow. When I tell you, I'm going to be glistening in my Africanness. Glistening. Oh my God, in this episode. I'm a sizzle in my. Because I just see it in my head. Si- it I'm a it be sizzling not, in my it does brotherhood. It not look right. It don't look right. It don't. Oh, look my right. African brothers and sisters. If you are shiny, listening. Shining like baking grease. <laughs> no, it's brother grease to you, sir. So. You better hope it ain't hot in that uh, theater. Man, I, I sit in the back. Because you will burn up. I'm gonna be in the back for like, man. I'm gonna have Look, he's gonna be in the back like I salute the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, did you say I salute the Lakers? That's what you gonna say, man. You gonna be in the back <laughs> no, like that? Man. Wait. Yeah, man. I, I assumed he said I, I salute the Lakers, but like, no, I think he said I salute the Lakers. No, he, did not. No. he did not say that. He did not say. That. I had to think twice too. I'm like, what did he just say? Yo, I salute the Lakers. No, That's what he, he gonna no. be in the back saying that, man. Like I salute the Lakers. <laughs> I was like, like, damn, man, that's that's not what you say. That's not how it's said. Stop. No. Stop playing, man. No, dude, no. Stop playing. Man, I didn't didn't realize how close that was. You know what? We got, yeah, we're going to get out of here. So, um, hope you all watch the movie. Hope you enjoy. Uh, This is Fuck It, We Will Fix It in Post. I salute the Lakers. (laughs)